general theory of you know how to be hugely successful in transferring your kind of research into commercial value is is is, is often uh, ho often hard to find. You know, universities spend a lot of time thinking about providing support and structure for academics. Um, it's difficult. They can sometimes kind of kill the the goose. You know, um, sometimes by just being too. Uh, too careful about protecting their interests, understandably, in, in, in what's been produced, but to the extent that um, the poor old academics aren't left incentivized. So the key thing is, what, whatever support you're providing, make sure you keep the originators and founders incentivized. And that goes on for VCs when they get involved, venture capitalists. I mean, often the, the originators, too many stories, I know of too many people who have ended up with tiny amounts of equity ultimately in the successful company and yet at the core it's their ingenuity and their kind of ideas that gave birth to it. So hold tenaciously on <laughs> to, to enough of a stake to stay interested and that can be hard but I think people have got to recognise if you want to keep the founders, the originating ideas there, you've got to do that. I think the other thing to absolutely, the ones that have really worked for me are where we've had great management teams. So I mean academics aren't always great business managers in that context and actually just having people who get sales, who get the ruthless commercial bit. Um, and it's often you know, an appalling fact to an academic that the market, marketing element, this little startup company, has three times the budget of the researchers. How can this be? It's an outrage. You know? But actually you do need that skill. You need that ability to get out and close sales, present the idea. And the other thing that I've learned, again, this is all hard one in the sense that made all the mistakes, uh, as, as well as having had some good successes. The successes were when we were ruthless about stripping out functionality. So function creep. Academics always want to throw all their ideas in the pot, and particularly the ones that you know, they're kind of fond, fondest features. Uh, often the market doesn't care. You know, it's finding the essence of an idea that can sell might not be where the academic thought it was in the first place. Um, and and the final element, I suppose, fourth ingredient for me is tenacity. Just be tenacious. Some of these ideas take a long time for the market to get object to programming 15 years in, in, in development before anybody made a commercial success out of it. Different forms of database taking on relational databases now, 15 years in development. The semantic web, stuff I'm interested in, 15 years in development. It can take a while and, uh, and you have to wait for these things to converge sometimes.